Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and this week I had a request to discuss return grill location and short circuiting. So that'll be today's topic. We often hear concerns about where to put the return grills because people are concerned about short circuiting, which is where the supply air goes directly into the return grill. So let's draw a supply grill, and let's say there's a return egg crate right next to it. So people are worried that it's going to come out of the supply grill and into the return grill and short circuit. And then this would be a waste of energy because you're cooling the air down and sending it straight to the return. Well, the truth is that unless you put the supply grill super close to the return grill, the return grill isn't going to have any effect on the supply airflow pattern. So think about a simple box fan like you might have at home. Let's draw in some blades and the airflow direction is this way. Now if you're standing here in front of the fan, you'll feel the air blow and it'll blow your hair in this direction. Now if you're standing behind the fan though, you're going to barely feel the air movement and your hair will be fine. But you know that the same amount of air is going into the fan that is coming out of the fan, so what's up? When the air leaves the fan, it's coming out in an area that is about the same size as the fan and slowly expands as it moves further away from the fan. But on the back side, the air is being pulled in from all directions. So you have a lower velocity over a much larger area. The velocity drops off quickly as you move away from the fan. So the velocity on the inlet side of our box fan is much lower than the velocity on the outlet side. This is basically what's happening with your return grills. The return grill has little effect on the airflow beyond a couple inches from the grill face. There's a saying, you can't suck out a match. Okay, it's probably just kind of a geeky air distribution saying, but it's true. So now if you look at a supply grill or a supply diffuser, the airflow comes out at a higher velocity than the return, and it'll go across the ceiling until it starts slowing down and fall off but you're looking at 150 feet per minute, then 100 and then 50 feet per minute in the occupied zone. But if you're looking at, say, again, our little return egg crate, the area around the return that actually affects airflow is really close to the grill face. So if you don't want to take my word for it, the ASHRAE Handbook, HVAC Applications, Chapter 57, Room Air Distribution, says that return grill location is far less critical than with outlets. In fact, room air intake affects room air motion only immediately around the grill. There are different reasons for where you'd want to locate your returns based on your system and application, but short circuiting concerns isn't really one of them. So let's draw another supply diffuser next to a return grill. If your return grill is placed where the supply jet is 150 feet per minute or greater, the fast moving supply air may actually pull air out of the return or at least block return air from going into the return. But you won't see the supply grill short circuiting into the return grill at this velocity. As far as where to put the return grills, there are some places you should consider based on your application. A good location for a typical office would be to put the return so that it returns the warmest air during cooling season. Let's draw in a little supply air here. And of course, don't have your supply grill jet directed directly into the return grill. So that answers the question about return grill location and short circuiting. A big thanks to Chip for suggesting the topic this week. If you have a topic you'd like to see as a podcast, just send it to the email address shown here. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for taking a time out with us.